Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we are going to cover the exception handling into our project. Okay, and we will see how we can handle our exceptions. Okay, so why exception handling is important? So it is important because we need to handle the exception and show the user the proper messages. Okay, rather than lots of print stack traces or the messages which may not be understandable that why this error occurred right so for that i would uh, give you one small example here is a method add movie in the movie service implementation and here it checks that before uploading file we are checking that if file already exists then it should throw an runtime exception right so if we up try to upload a data with the so this is a data that we will up upload and if you see here we have already here in the movies database we have already the movie id3 and with poster infinity what dot png right now if you go to the intellij here in posters then you will see that this image is present here now we will try to add the movie again but with the same image okay and let's see what comes so if i send the request see it comes internal server error 500 and it says something like this and if you come here and if you come to run it is giving us a big print stack trace right now we have to debug here and then we have to uh, get the error here right file already exists please enter another file so it's a bit difficult right so what can be the better approach is to handle these exceptions and display the proper error messages to the user so that it can be the user can take proper actions right so we will see how that can be done so let's stop first this application and now the let's start with this uh, runtime exception only so here we have file dot exist so we have to create our own exception classes so before that let's create a package uh, we will create a package name as exceptions and then there will be one our own class we will call file exists exception okay this class will extend a runtime exception class and it will have a constructor file exists exception it will take a message and it will call the super method so this is how generally we create our own exception classes okay so this is the first exception that we are creating second exception if you see if you go below we have this right this runtime exception we have again created this is a movie not found we are sitting here the message so we can create a exception which is like movie not found exception so let's create another exception class so we will say movie not found exception so it would also be the same extend the runtime exception create the constructor movie not found exception string message and call the super and pass the message okay and let's see if more exceptions are there so if we scroll down again here also uh, we have to deal with the movie not found okay let's see again and here also the same thing right if we go to the controller uh, not file controller but movie controller okay so here we are taking the file here and movie dt object here right but in case the file is empty okay so in that case also we need to throw an exception right so we will this condition also we need to put so in case file is empty then throw empty file exception or uh, let's write new empty file exception and file is empty please send another file okay this is our message and let's create the exception so create class uh, in the exception package and yes a string we will say message and we will call super okay 
so these three we have created and what happened okay let's add it to method signature now in the okay in the movie service implementation also let's remove this runtime exception with movie not found exception movie not found exception and uh, let's copy it and paste it here simply paste it here also and for this we will say file exist exception okay there is uh, already an exception called as file already exist exception also but we have created our own custom exception okay so we can customize accordingly uh, whenever we want for our own purpose now just by creating our own exception it will not give a proper message this is just we have created a specific ex exceptions to our uh, own problems right but we have to handle it so to handle it we have to create a handler and in the spring boot we get a facility to have a centralized way of doing the exception handling okay so let's create a class for that and we will say global exception handler okay so this way we can create a globally we can handle any exception okay so you have to annotate it with rest controller advice okay so this is the first thing that you have to do so if you uh, want to know about that what is rest controller advice so since we are building a rest full web services so you have to annotate it with the rest controller advice so that it knows that okay for the restful apis it has to uh, handle the exceptions okay now second is we have you have to create methods which will uh, handle each type of exceptions okay now what these methods will return so since we are using spring boot uh, 3 so in the spring boot 3 there is one class known as problem details okay problem detail okay it comes from org.springframework.http so this class is helpful in in uh, creating a customized response earlier we used to create a a, a class which would and our own custom responses but with the spring boot 3 this problem detail is helpful in creating a response for us okay so that's very uh, helpful and we'll say handle the first type of exception we are going to handle is say move um, let's copy paste this movie not found exception and we will just take an a reference of it okay and now how we have to do is return problem detail dot now it has three things we can return problem status code and detail of the problem so let's take this so the status will be http status dot not found okay and the detail will be x uh, the reference dot get message okay we will call the message now this message is here we have passed okay movie not found we have passed right so this is the message now let's also change this message with id equal to movie id okay so let's copy this also and we will paste it here also so that the proper messages should be displayed all over right so we have pasted all these things right now let's come to come back here and to make spring know that this is a kind of exception that whenever it is thrown you have to handle it using this method so you have to annotate it with exception handler and here you have to mention the class movie not found exception dot class okay so this is how we handle any exception okay now similarly now uh, again we have to do okay wait uh, file exist exception dot class okay public problem detail handle and i'll just copy and paste ex and simply return problem detail dot for status and detail now here also file already exists so we will say status code dot bad request okay it's a bad request and again ex dot message right uh, for the third one we'll just copy this method and we'll paste here okay and we will say empty file exception and copy this paste it here paste it here right 
and that's done okay now let's use this classes use this classes uh, that we have created so file exist exception is here empty file also we are using okay so everything is now done now let's test our apis whether these exceptions are being thrown in a proper way right so let's read another application okay so except uh, the application has started and now let's validate that so what we are doing here is we are adding the movie with the existing file name right which is already in our file system so let's see if it accepts or not and what kind of exception it throws it will throw an exception but how it throws now so you can see that before exception handling it was throwing something like this right now let's see how it throws so if we do again now you see here all the things come so it's saying status 400 detail file already exists please enter another file name and it is giving an endpoint and if you come to id no stack traces are there right you can see no stack traces are there so proper messages are there so if you want to handle this on the front end you can easily do it right because you are getting this response and you know what to extract from the response for messages or status or the type of exception or the endpoint right also if we try to get movie so if you see here we don't have a movie with id one or four or anything so let's try to fetch so first let's fetch with two so if we fetch with two the we are getting the data right now let's try to fetch with one try to fetch with one it says 404 not found and movie not found with id equal to one and if you come here again it has run the query but not thrown the exception uh, the whole print stack trace right so this is how the proper centralized way of exception handling is there in the spring boot while developing the restful apis i hope you have understood this and it's very easy to integrate the exception handling concept okay and now in the spring boot 3 this problem detail class is there for doing and for setting all the details that you want to set up okay so that's all for this video i will see you in the next one till then bye bye